In the movies The Hustler, along with the text of Flawless Silence and A House on Mango Street, the main characters each have a different idea of what exactly the American dream is. However, they face many obstacles in trying to reach their dream life. The characters deal with hating where they come from and who they are, so they do things to change who they are to obtain these goals. Viewers can see this through metaphors used to signify these fantasies that they each have about the American dream. In this video, I aim to show the significance of these metaphors for these each three important characters in these films and texts. It will explain how their perception of the American dream is both detrimental to their future or it could help them significantly by how they view themselves in their past and future. first literary device I've chosen to look at is a film called Hustlers. It follows the main character Destiny as she tries to figure out what her version of the American dream is as she is trying to provide for her child that she is back has back home. In particular, I want to focus on a metaphor that is reoccurring throughout the film and that is the idea of this gigantic fur coat. In the beginning, there is a scene where she sees Ramona out on the roof of the club and Ramona kind of engulfs her in this jacket and takes her under her wing. We can tell that Ramona is someone that Destiny looks up to and since Ramona has this fur coat, this is a metaphor for Destiny's perception of making it or obtaining the American dream and having all that she ever wanted. We can see this fur coat be reoccurring throughout this film where she is shopping with Ramona, she touches the fur coat as if she is longing for something that she can't have yet, but that is still her goal. In this film that I am about to show, it is Christmas time and Ramona finally gives Ramona this huge fur coat, Destiny that has been wanting her whole life. Um, in Destiny's view, she has made it. She has now gotten this fur coat. She is happy. She has enough money to be able to provide for her family. So having this fur coat is a sense of security and accomplishment, and she has everything that she's ever wanted. Oh, oh my God. What was it? Chinchilla. Oh my God. Oh my God. As we can see in this scene, everything is very white, everything is very perfect, has a perception that there is nothing going on. Destiny finally has this fur coat that she has been longing for for years and years and years, something that Ramona has, and she finally is able to get her fur coat. The fur coat in this scene is, or throughout this movie, is reflecting um, Kind of the end goal that destiny wants to have or something that is to be achieved um once she gets this everything in her eyes is seen as perfect and she has reached her idea of the american dream for my second literary device i've chosen to look at the metaphor of a dollhouse and the short story of a flawless silence min believes that in order to have a perfect life and reach her idea of the american dream that she needs to sacrifice pe pieces of herself in order to obtain this goal throughout the story we can see men think that her idea of the American dream is by having kids, having enough money to support herself, being the perfect wife, being the perfect grandmother, so therefore she decides to be silent. In this quote leading, she states, Perhaps they all lived in a giant dollhouse. Some like the dolls that belonged to Ermi and Dina had complicated life stories with many plots, dramas, and excitements. Min feels as though she's being controlled. She feels that in order to reach her goal, she needs to be perfect, she needs to make no mistakes, so therefore she decides to stay silent almost as if she was a doll. In this metaphor, she thinks that dolls are perfect, they make no mistakes, um, and they are silent. So this is how Min perceives herself and how she should be in order to For my third literary device of the House on Mango Street, I want to specifically talk about Esperanza and her fantasy idea of a perfect house and what that means for her. In this quote, Esperanza states, our house would be white with trees around it, a great big yard and grass growing within a fence. This would be the house Papa talked about when he won the lottery ticket. This is the house Mama dreamed about in the story she told us when we went to bed. Not only is this a dream for Esperanza, but it is also a dream set by her whole family. And it is not only talking about just a house. This metaphor of a perfect house also symbolizes her life and her experiences that she is going through as she grows up. If they have the perfect house and everything is must have already been achieved. We can see that she, her dad talks about that this is the house they get when they win the lottery and her mom tells a story when she goes to bed. This kind of sets a fantasy idea that this is something that is going to be very hard to reach and unobtainable. 
In these three literary pieces, all characters start off by reflecting negatively on who they are and how they've been brought up through the metaphors of Destiny's Fur Coat and Hustlers, a men's, silent, a men's dollhouse in a flawless silence, and Esperanza's perfect house in a house on Mango Street. All metaphors represent a false fantasy that these characters believe in and what the perfect American dream is. If they work the system and change who they are, they will, that these dreams will be achievable and have everything they've ever wanted, no matter what they need to do to reach this dream. At the end of these pieces, we can see that some of the characters in these pieces viewpoints start to change. However, in A Flawless Silence for Men and Hustlers for Destiny, they both still see themselves negatively. We can see that Destiny in Hustlers has a downfall and despite having this fur coat and everything that she ever thought she wanted, she still comes crashing down and struggles and everything that she ever dreamed of slowly disappears. In A Fall of Silence, we see that Min decided to finally break her silence. However, she is still restricted by her husband, her kids, her family, so she has not changed that much. They still do not want to accept the past and they don't want to um, kind of accept that that is who they are and in order to move forward, they must accept that. However, in A House on Mango Street, Esperanza finally realizes that she cannot get rid of her past and change who she was. She, at this point in her life, she's older and she has achieved um, almost everything that she hoped for. We can see in this quote. In this quote, she states, They grow up, they grow down, and grab the earth between their hairy toes and bite the sky with violent teeth and never quit their anger. This is how they keep. In this quote, Esperanza is referring to a big tree. A tree that has roots that reach far into the ground. Without these roots, the tree will die and would not be able to grow as tall as it was before. We can see that Esperanza's metaphor changes from a perfect house that set a false reality for her and her family that was unobtainable and they were reflecting negatively on their past. However, with this tree, Esperanza finally realizes that she must have a positive reflection of her past and that her past is who she is today and how it was able to help her grow and achieve everything that she has ever wanted to achieve. She can't change herself. Um, she has to keep this past with her and recognize that without it, she would not be as successful. Unlike the other two stories, Esperanza is finally able to have this positive view of her past, unlike Men and Destiny, where they still are not able to accept that the past is who they are and in order to move forward, they must realize that the past is never going to change and that in order to reach what they want, they have to recognize that.